Hello, welcome to Games Cuisine. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare a chocolate icing with a mirror effect. I've already prepared the cake, which is a pana and chocolate cake, the recipe for which is available on another video. You can access the video by clicking on the picture. For the chocolate icing we need dark chocolate, sugar, single cream, gelatin, as well as water. Before we can proceed with the preparation of the icing, you need to leave the gelatin sheets in a bowl of cold water. This will allow the gelatin to soften. Then, in a saucepan, bring the sugar and water to the bowl, add the cream, give it a good stir, and add the chocolate. Don't worry if it looks like the chocolate isn't blending in properly. It usually takes a few minutes for the chocolate to combine with the rest of the preparation. Leave it to gently simmer until the mixture has thickened enough to have a creamy consistency. This usually takes about 10 minutes. Finally, add the gelatin. Make sure you remove the excess of water before putting it in and gently stir until completely combined. As you can see, I've put the cake on a grill because we need to drain the excess of icing. Before you can start pouring the icing, you have to make sure your cake isn't any warmer than room temperature because otherwise you might end up with air bubbles forming on the icing. The icing must be lukewarm before you can start using it. Start pouring the icing on the top of the cake and spread it gently down to the side with a long knife. It's pretty straightforward to do. Repeat the procedure until the icing has completely covered the cake. You can also sprinkle any of your favorite toppings. Here I'm using caramelized almonds and hazelnuts. Leave the icing to completely cool down before you can move the cake to a presentation plate.